and action. So, um, do you know Tom McMahon? Tom, what are you doing? Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom, it's Jay Leno. Jane, meet Tom. <laughs> Tom James. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing, sir? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm doing great. You look beautiful. Thank you. You get prettier every time I see you. Oh, wow. Name dropper. Is that your favorite part of the night? Yeah, see, here, here, let me give you a little insight. J.J. Abrams, he, 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 what he really wants, he's the most vain guy in the world. Look at him right now. He's got all the secrets of Hollywood in his head. Now let's make that big, all new jokes. <laughs> Very funny. He just needs a test for audio. Oh, for, for level, sure. I, uh, I count, but I don't know how to count. I, I get stuck at two. <laughs> this is sort of the more Bingo serious on, room, Tom. You're taking balls to the face, then? Taking a lot of balls to the face. What do you think about Wax Jane? Are you at all attracted to her? No, I'm not attracted to her. I'm a little repulsed by her, and I'm, I'm overwhelmed by the fact that she's so tall. It's awesomely freaky. <laughs> Tomorrow, actually, we kiss. I got up. Maybe we should practice. Gemma? I am calling him the Stamos now. I want them to call me Mr. Stamos. She's calling you those two. Oh, this <laughs> There also was a little bit of a booty shaking competition going on in your rehearsal. He actually no tried to compete with me. For an interview that you gave recently where you were talking about how hard it is to get out of the house on nights like this. Yeah. <laughs> Any trouble tonight? Um, <laughs> My daughter has swine flu, but we, we still left. It's we no still, big deal. And then I moved into the Hollywood Youth Hostel. I didn't know what I was doing at all. Do you now? No, that's that's that. When, when did it change? I <laughs> picked him up today from the youth hostel. So. I was gonna ask you, do you feel like a different person? I, do. I mean, so much has happened. I've grown up a lot. I almost broke even on that gig. Did you ever think you'd get to the level of success you got to? When looking back at that, you know, at that moment. No, I never, I never thought I'd, I'd be able to uh, afford to get my car fixed. Everything after that is gravy. You can't control what's predestined, but would you do something differently if you got the chance to go back? Would you? Would I? I just assume everything's gonna be bad to begin with. The only thing I would do is go back and tell myself not to worry so much. Do you feel any pressure at all, kind of following up, you know, with the big, you know, excitement of the Oscar and all that? Any pressure to make this movie? It's not until now, so thanks, man. Ruin my dinner, man. No, I, look, all I ever try to do is something interesting. I want to challenge myself. This, I think, movie represents, a, you know, a next level for you. Mm -hmm. How important is that, uh, personally and in career-wise? No, it was great. I, you know, as an actor, as all actors do, I'm always looking for that next, that next great part. I'm sure everybody's saying, "Why doesn't she quit? Aren't you going to retire someday?" <laughs> but when you, when you're having this much fun, then what's to walk away from? It's quite an honor. It's a little uh, dazzling, you know, to have your own name associated with it, but I'm honored by that. I'm perfect. You are, yeah. apparently. Did you hear that? Yes. Well, <laughs> I that, heard it. The news today <laughs> kind of says you at least gave a perfect performance. <laughs> oh, gosh. How are you feeling? Ecstatic. It's, it's so exciting. I was up at 5.50-ish when I, when I got the initial phone call to tell me that I was nominated. Probably the best day of my life so far. We have had a very good morning. Yes, we have. <laughs> big week, big year, big life. That's how we roll here at Glee. I'm walking on sunshine, but... Hollywood information. That the theme song that I wrote, you have it all for free. Yeah, Madison, Chris, we are literally right outside the main gate here at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. This is where Michael Jackson's family and friends will come to finally lay him to rest. The media is camped out here at the UCLA Medical Center. This is where Britney's unbelievable medical motorcade ended up last night with her and the psych ward. Celebs needing treatment for addiction typically enter facilities like this one, Passages in Malibu. This is the Oscar red carpet. Immediately, you walk through security, and once Angelina's bags are checked, she'll make her way right here. I'm going to tell you one more thing. First of all, I'm, you're terrific at this. We all love you to death. Oh, I'm loving you back. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love it. You know what? That's a, that's a very good point. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Oh, I just think about that one. And I love that you commented on it, so thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks so much, Greg. Thank you. Give Tom McMahon a raise for Pete's sake. He produces his own segments. He does it all himself.
Does that work? That is awesome.